Hello, do you want to share data between Windows and Mac OS? In this video I will show you how to transfer files back and forth between Windows and Mac OS using a network cable. This way you can transfer data without internet, without router, without SWIFT. Here I have prepared a network cable to connect between a Windows computer and a Mac computer. In the first part of the video I will show you how to share a folder on a Windows computer and access it from a Mac OS computer. On a Windows computer, you set up a static app address. As in this video, my friend set the IP address to 192.168.1.10 for Windows computers. After setting up the IP address for your Windows computer, enable network discovery and enable folder sharing. You can also deactivate the password requirement when accessing shared folders. Then don't forget to apply the changes. Time to create a new folder and share it. Here I create a new folder and name it WinShare. In this video I will create a new account and grant access to a shared folder over the network. Here I create a new account as WinUser. You can use existing accounts if you want. If your current account does not have a password, please create one. Having created the account now I will share the folder and give it access. You share the newly created folder and add the newly created account. Next you set read and write permissions with this directory. Folder shared successfully. We will add a file to this folder and wait for the results on the Mac computer. How can Mac computers access shared folders on Windows computers? Just like on Windows computers, you set up the IP address for Mac computers. You need to make sure the IP addresses of the two computers are different. So I set the IP address for my Mac as 192.168.1.20. To make sure the two computers are successfully connected, open a command prompt and use the ping command to check. As you can see the two computers are connected to each other. Go connect to server. Here you enter the IP address of the Windows computer. Connect. Connect. Next, enter the account that has been granted access to the shared folder on the Windows computer. Once you enter the correct account, you will be able to access the shared folder in the previous step. You can now transfer files between a Windows computer and a Mac OS computer. But what if you want to share the folder on your Mac computer? We will learn how in the next part of this video. Watch the video to see how to do it. On my Mac I create a new folder and share it. I named it Mac Share. 
You need to make sure that both computers have a static app set up. Next you set up sharing the newly created folder. You enable file sharing on Mac OS. Then add the folder just created in the previous step. Next you grant access to the shared folder. You will be asked for a password when setting up this folder sharing. So you have set up folder sharing on Mac OS, simpler than on Windows, right? We're back to a Windows computer with a cable connected to a Mac computer. You access the shared folder on your Mac using its static app address. You can also use this to transfer files within your local network or over your local network wirelessly. You enter the account that is granted access to the shared folder. If you have a router in your local network that provides an IP address, you can skip the step of setting up a static app address for your computer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.